It's 5 a.m. in Auckland, which feels like about three o'clock to us because of the time difference from Australia, but we have a massive day ahead of us. So first thing, we're walking up to the hotel where our friends are staying so we can jump in the car. Bacon and egg McMuffin meal with a large cappuccino. Cup, large cappuccino. Ham and cheese pocket. Yep. And a flat white half strand with two sugars, please. And yeah, she's like, I don't understand these Australians. <laughs> Ava, you keep an, an eye out for any hobbits out the window? Yep. Have you seen any yet? No? Okay. Hobbiton, we're so looking forward to this. We're gonna queue up though. Okay. All things Lord of the Rings. That's his pipe. You want some big hairy feet? $900 for the elven cloak. I would have bought that, but it's out of stock. Is it a Gandalf hat? Green nail polish. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, the family business? No, these guys are at some of our best friends here. Oh, cool. Enough story. Awesome. Have a good one. Thank you. My name's Maggie. I'll be your guys' tour guide for today. This is Vaughn. He's our driver. He'll be taking us down to the stage. So, yeah, you guys excited? Yeah. yeah, awesome, awesome. Is there anyone here that claims to be a really big fan? Oh, one up the back there, awesome. Alrighty, a couple over there as well. Awesome. You're going to see the back of the thatched roof mill house, the double arch stone bridge, and also the Green Dragon Inn. So for anyone that doesn't know what the Green Dragon is, it's the pub. And I'll take you guys over that bridge into the Green Dragon and I will shout your first beer. What? 40% of people who come here don't know anything about the movies or the book. No. That makes no sense. Yeah. 
Beautiful. Should we go check out the little blue one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's only tiny. Look, look at this little gate. Now with the hobbit holes, we do have 44. Every single hobbit hole can open, but there's not a full-on home inside. Oh, there's another one. Look at these hobbits. <laughs> I feel like there's a story to be told. A story? Yeah. Do you want to hear a story? Yeah. yeah. Tell us a story. Okay. Remember bringing the books to life, all of that good stuff? So when one thing we've got in the books was a tree being rubbed with bagging. And when they got here, they had the perfect kill to put bagging into. But in the books, you know, the tree, there was no tree here. So they decided they had to get one. So what they actually did is they flew around New Zealand in a helicopter. They found the tree on someone's farm. They literally cut it off and put it up there. And that's the tree you see for the Lord of the Rings. Um, but because it was a living tree, it was real, it died. So at the end of it, it got taken down and then they just destroyed it. But then when they returned years and years later for the Hobbit, there was about 10 year difference. They realized it was three really big problems. So one, they didn't have a tree. Two, it would have to be 60 years younger. And three, it would also have to be identical. So you can see a tree on top of Bag End right now. That tree's artificial, we built it. So it's made from steel, expanding foam, silicon, silk, and plastic. And that is it right up the top there. Cool. Yeah. There's a story for you. That's a good story. Very good. So it took them another thing about it. It took them 10 months to make a tree. So a crazy amount of hard work. That one. And then 10 days before filming, they put it up and it was ready. And it's held in by like a concrete slab. And then what happened is our director came along, took one look, and he decided he didn't like the colour. So 10 days before, someone had to get back up there and then spray paint back to front 200,000 leaves. Over 200,000 <laughs> leaves. A different shade of green. Because our lovely director said so. So there you go. A little bit about that tree. How cute are the hobbit clothes? Oh, that's just the umbrella storage. Umbrella storage. Yeah, that's very cool. Look at you. Look, it's over. I'll get that your way. Thank you, Ava. That just looks like a movie set right there. Can you believe that that tree is not real? So this one's real. This one's real but that one's so not. This is the most famous hobbit hole of all. Bilbo's hobbit hole. Over the hill. Look at this tree. How it goes around the like hill. And this is Big Shot Road. Which is down there. Uh, and that is amazing, that tree, that branch. That's incredible. That's what he just said. Oh, we've been summoned. Always the laugh. Come on here again. Pick up the tape. It's difficult to get a photo. Okay, we can keep going. We'll skip this one. Got that one. All right. We'll skip it. Keep going. Keep, no, I know. We skipped a hole. No, we just went quickly. Just take one photo. Oh, just some. Nice light file. Yeah. 
trying to get a little bit of time here. Get to bed first and walk and take pictures. Yeah. Take selfies, you can get all the other pictures on the internet. Picking in the garden, you can see the tourism behind the bar. Okay, let's go get our drink and then we'll take photos. Okay. Oh, she's I'm there. Down Good for tip. Some South Farthing Ale. Beer? What have we got? Dark stuff, amber ale, apple cider, or ginger beer. Amber ale sounds amber. good, thank you. There you are. What are you having, Brent? This was the photo. Yes. Yeah, it's stout. Stout. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, look at these cozy little hobbits. Oh, how cool is Hobbiton? It's cool. Awesome. I've loved it, like, I don't know, <laughs> cheers! <laughs> it's even better than I thought. Drinking my beer at the Green Dragon at Hobbiton. Pretty cool. That was really cool, fish bump. You like that? Yeah, that oh, was yeah, I really, really. I forgot the sound effect. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> oh, we didn't blow it up. Oh. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. It's all of us gone. That was really cool. Now we're off to Rotorua. So, oh. lucky, we lucky this isn't Smell-O-Vision because right now cool, but... the rotten egg gas is pretty strong. It's just random steam vents coming out in all over the place and very very strong sm sulfur smell. Oh, I just got a good whiff then. Oh, that's some, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's hot. Jace, how hot is it? It's like a hot cup of tea. Is it? You wouldn't put your whole body in this. Oh, it's hot. And you can see, like, it's only just off. Like, ah, the yeah. I... It sold itself out there. You couldn't, you couldn't put your hand in that for long. Well, that was pretty cool, but we're going in search of bubbling mud. So this one's just coming out of the glass. Seeing. Oh, yeah. Coming out of there. Yeah, Look at this one. So this is their house and their front yard. Oh, oh that's wow. awesome. It's a little jacuzzi, I think. See the fence, it all looks burnt again. So weird. At the side of the road, and that is just boiling. Turn left, 
That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see that, how cool that looks. Yeah. We wanted bubbling mud, and there it is. Oh, you were right. That was my second day choice. Oh, I think the middle one's going to blow soon. Yeah, I think the one I chose is going to blow soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jump! Jump! Go, 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 go! And now we're going on the luge. This is going to be awesome fun. Well, that was a lot of fun, but that was just the beginner truck. So next time I'm going to try the intermediate. And then finally, there's an advanced track, so I can't wait for that one. You ready? Yeah. All right.
That was good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how much air did we get? Uh, I got lower, so I was like, holy shit! <laughs> 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 well that one was heaps of fun um i want to do the advanced one again but instead i'm going to do the intermediate one so that we can all go together but uh, i can see why people come along and do like seven luge runs and stuff like that it's, it's really fun Welcome to Rota Vegas! Yeah. It's been a very, very busy day. It's been hectic. Good hectic though. Yeah, good hectic, but a huge day. What are we going to do now? We're walking through the redwood forest looking for the biggest tree. Try to hug that one. Oh, what about that one? Definitely bigger. Definitely bigger. So does that other one? And it's tiny. That is bigger, I reckon. I'm pretty confident that that's the biggest tree in the forest. And I think it's time to go get something to eat now. It's been a long day and it's not over yet because we still have a three hour drive back to Auckland but it's going to go dark soon, we're getting hungry so we're just going to grab some Wendy's and we'll see you guys tomorrow.